you for watching Devotionables, brief devotions for busy people. Hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. If you're watching this today, it's a Monday. And you know, a lot of times we come into Mondays with a little bit of dread, a little bit of anxiety with all that's on our plate. Today's Bible passage, I think, is the perfect remedy to anxiety, to feeling the, the heavy burden. It's Psalm 23 may be the most familiar or famous passage in all the Bible. If there was a Mount Rushmore of Bible passages, this indeed would be on that. And so I want us to actually spend the week in Psalm 23. You know, we do three devotionables a week, and I want us to do uh, three devotions in Psalm 23. The first, first thing I want us to reflect upon is how the Psalm starts. David makes this bold declaration, this, this, his confidence is in the Lord. He says, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. And this is a, a declaration to himself, I think, uh, reminding himself of who his shepherd is. And then secondly, it's an invitation to others to walk with the Lord as their shepherd. And what I want to focus on is just the phrase, it's one word, it's the name, it's who is the shepherd? Who is the good shepherd? Who is the great shepherd? Who is the best shepherd in the world? It's Yahweh. That's the, that's the name that David writes down. So let's think for a moment about Yahweh. You know, where do we first learn uh, this name? Well, Moses sees this burning bush and he goes aside to look at it because it's burning, but it's not being consumed and there the Lord speaks to Moses through this fiery bush. And he identifies himself as I am. Right? I am who I am. When, when Moses says, who shall I say to the Israelites? You know, what's your name? He says, Yahweh, I am. And then as the book of Exodus continues, we get to 34. You remember this amazing story where Moses is interceding for the people and he, he just hey i want lord show us your glory i want to see your glory and god says hey you, you can't see me and live but what i do i'll hide you in this rock behind this cleft and i'll pass by and as i pass by i'll, I'll show you my glory and the lord passes by and there's this great declaration of uh, you know the lord the lord slow to anger abounding in steadfast love and faithfulness forgiving sin and iniquity but, but by no means you know left the, the the leave the guilty unpunished and so we, we the character of the lord is revealed in his glory and goodness and his name this is yahweh and this is our shepherd the covenant making covenant keeping god this is david's shepherd the lord and the and, and the reality is you know i have a good friend that you know we'll be having different conversations and we'll just kind of be befuddled, uh, dumbfounded. And we talk about how could people be doing this? Um, because we people are just sheep. That's what he tells me all the time. Gabriel, people are just sheep. And it's so true. Uh, we're just we're, we're just sheep. And we're just kind of going around doing our thing. But it means we will be led. We will be led by something or someone. Something will shepherd us. Someone will shepherd us. So who is your shepherd? Who is leading you this week as you come into you know the start of a week, start of your day? Who are you looking to to lead you? Is it Yahweh? Is it the God of the Bible? The, the covenant making, covenant keeping God? Or are you looking to, you know, a lot of us look to our own, really ourselves to shepherd us, to our own talents, our own abilities, um, our, our own possessions. That will only leave us wanting, only leave us feeling burdened, harassed, anxious. But as we'll continue this week looking at Psalm 23, we'll learn if the Lord is your shepherd, you shall not want. And we'll look at exactly what he provides for us this week. God bless you. May you follow, follow Yahweh as your shepherd.